The American Red Cross hero Megan Hughes and our award sponsor KGET TV 17, Jim Scott. You know, um, this is a there's a rare quality, a human quality amongst the uh, Red Cross volunteers. These are people who, as you saw there, answer calls in the middle of the night to help people in the worst of circumstances, whether it's a somebody caught in a mudslide or a violent storm or someone who has just been traumatized by losing their home and all their worldly possessions to a fire. Um, so this evening we are definitely happy to honor one of Red Cross's own with this award giving for outstanding humanitarian contributions promoting the mission of the Red Cross and Megan was selected for this award as you saw because she best exemplifies the Red Cross spirit. So on behalf of all of us at KGT TV 17 I am honored and blessed to uh, award Megan Hughes with this year's Spirit of the American Red Cross Hero Award. Megan? Oh my gosh. I'm so honored and grateful to be here this evening. Uh, grateful for so many reasons. I'm grateful for uh, an amazing staff at the Red Cross. Uh, Amy Smith, Veronique Royer, just to name a couple, who've worked tirelessly to make this event happen, but who work long, long, long hours uh, with little thanks to support all the volunteers at the organization. I'm thankful for our board of directors who uh, guide our organization in helping our community. I'm grateful for our community partners and our government partners who help support our clients uh, in the days that uh, follow the tragic events that we first see them. But most of all, I'm great, uh, so grateful to an amazing, amazing, selfless team of volunteers. People who get up at 2 o'clock in the morning, leave their homes within 30 minutes to provide assistance to a family who's lost everything in a home fire. Volunteers who will get up and within 24 hours notice leave their home for weeks at a time to go and help uh, victims of flooding and tornadoes in a different part of the country. I've had so many amazing friendships that I've made. So uh, if, I, if I had to name every single person, I'd, I'd have to start at the top of the volunteer roster and go down. So uh, this evening, uh, I will thank one person, even though she's not here, uh, the person most responsible for what I've been able to accomplish here at the Red Cross is our former disaster program manager, Tessa Lovro, who was the person who, uh, she's an amazing mentor and a treasured friend, and without her encouragement and uh, uh, sometimes the occasional kick in the hindquarters and uh, the shoulder to uh, you know lean on, I never would have accomplished what I did. And uh, most of all, I'm grateful that a little over a year and a half ago, I clicked submit on my application to become a Red Cross volunteer. At the time, I had visions that I would be uh, going out and changing the lives of others. Uh, but in the end, it was my life who was changed so much for the better. So uh, on, th on behalf of all the Red Cross volunteer staff, I thank you so much for this award. Folks, could you please stand and let's give a big round of applause to this year's two.